Shofu in this bitch like a swap opportunity. What's really good? Shout out to my boy Sammy. <laughs> anyway, so um, came back from the VGCs two days ago. Had a really great time. Met a lot of really cool people. I met Fizzy Stardust. Awesome guy. Awesome guy. Funny guy. All that stuff. He's a good guy. Uh, met a few of you, uh, my subscribers as well. So shout out to those guys that I met. And um, I did pretty well this weekend, actually. I ended up getting fourth overall out of uh, 187. So, you know, I, I think that's pretty good. I um, only lost one battle. I went 7-1, and one, and I was tied for second, score-wise. But the way they, um, it, was, it was a Swiss round. So everybody plays eight battles, and then they, you know, they tally up all the, pretty much um, they go off of your opponent's win winning percentage. So whoever played better opponents gets a higher rank. Whoever lost early gets a lower rank than somebody who might have lost later on in the day. So, you know, it was a, I just ended up getting fourth. I lost, I went 3-0, and and then I lost one, and then I went 4-0. So, yeah, I ended up doing pretty well. And I used my boy Lev's team. Shout out to my boy Lev. It's the same team I used last year, and it's the same team he used last year. So, holla at your boy. I'll put his link in the description. Now, on to the battle. My opponent is using a Rotom Wash, a Bomb of Snow, Sableye, and Heatran. I had no idea what to expect from these four Pokemon. But he caught me by surprise, and I ended up losing. This is the only battle I lost, so I decided to upload it. And uh, it was probably one of the best battles I had. So, you know, I might as well show you guys how I did in this battle. And, uh, you know, if you guys plan on going to the VDCs later, maybe try to avoid the mistakes I made. Now, he's going to leave with his uh, his Rotom and his Obama Snow, and I'm going to leave with my Zapdos and my Chandelure. Now, here I had it. I should have gone for the Heat Wave with my Zapdos, but I ended up going for the Thunderbolt on his Rotom, which was a big mistake, big, big mistake. I'm going to go for the Protect with my Chandelure, expecting him to use Hydro Pump on it with his Rotom. And I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt on his... Um, on his Rotom with my Zapdos, but I should have gone for the Heat Wave. I knew my Zapdos could live with Blizzard because it it has less power because of the uh, you know spread damage. It, uh, it only has like what 80% damage or 75? I don't know. And um, I knew I could live, so I should have definitely gone for the uh, Heat Wave to take out his Abom Snow. But my dumbass actually goes for the Thunderbolt on his Rotom, and I think his Abom Snow is Scarfed, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure it's Scarfed though. If it's not Scarfed, it's definitely um. See, I think it's Scarf because he never used Protect, not even once. So I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure it's Scarf. Now here he makes a great prediction as I go for the Heat Wave with my Chandelure. Um, he makes a great prediction, goes out to his Heat Train, gets the Flash Fire Boost. Now this was a huge problem for me because like, now I, I really have to be very, very cautious. Some of my Pokemon would have been able to live Heat Waves from that uh, Heat Train earlier. But now that it has a Flash Fire Boost, I have to be like, I don't know. Like It's, it's hard for me to explain. Him having a more powerful Heat Wave puts all of my Pokemon in danger when they weren't so much in danger before. Like, Heat Wave would have done a lot to all of my Pokemon regardless, but now that he has a Flash Fire Boost, like, nothing can live a hit because he has he's probably modest max special attack, and he that Heat Wave is going to be way too strong. Now, um, I know his I know his Abomasnow Snow Scarf because he just outsped my Zapdos, and I'm going to go for the Protect with my Chandelure as he takes out my Zapdos with the Blizzard because I know his Heat Trans probably going to want to go for the uh, Earth Power now. And, uh, yeah... So now I'm in a predicament, very, 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 very big predicament. I don't want to switch my um, Chandelure out because I know he's going to go for Blizzard with his uh, with his Obama Snow. He doesn't indeed go for the Blizzard. Now what I probably should have done was switch it out though now that I think about it because he's going to go for the Earth Power on my um, on my Chandelure and it's going to be a uh, one-hit KO from where it is. Obviously you only have like half health left. But now I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave on his, uh, on his Heatran just because you know it's, so, it's such a big threat that I had no choice really. And, um, I don't know. See, I need... The only reason I didn't switch my Chandelure out to my Crocodile is because I need Crocodile right now to kill that Heatran. So, like, I'm in a bad situation because I didn't go for the uh, Heat Wave first turn. And I went for the Thunderbolt instead. But I didn't go for the Heat Wave because since he had an Obama Snow out, I thought he might want to bring in his Heatran that turn. And on the second turn, I thought he just because he left it in, I didn't think he would want to switch out. So, I don't know. It, it, it's a hard prediction to make, and that is why I, like, failed right there. So I'm going to go for the uh, Thunder Wave on his Obama Snow as I go for the Protect with my Crocodile. So now I'm faster than both of his Pokemon. Uh, he does end up going for the Heat Wave. And I actually avoid the attack with my Cresselia. It might have killed me from there. So I got really lucky there. And um, now I'm going to go for the Rest with my Cresselia. And I'm going to go for the Earthquake on his Heatran. So um, it's not going to do that much to the Obama Snow. But it is still going to kill the uh, Heatran even after the Sugar Berry. Because of, uh, you know, it's only at like around 75%. So that's good for me. So the score is 2-2 at this point. So right now it doesn't look so bad, but it is. It really is because <laughs> that uh, Obama Snow, I can't ki oh, This is just so difficult, man. This is so difficult. My, this, was, this was probably one of the most challenging battles I've had in my lifetime. 
because I was thinking so hard. The battle almost, uh, you know, we almost uh, timed out. But anyways, he's going to go for the uh, Blizzard. It's not going to do that much to my Cresselia, but it's going to do a crap ton to my Crocodile. My Crocodile can only take one more hit from the Hail before I die. But all of that is irrelevant because he brings out this Sableye. I could have gone for the Protect here. And I should have gone for the Protect and then Thunderwave the Sableye. Just, you know, give myself the best chance possible. But he goes for the Fake Out. I didn't even expect that. I know that it gets Fake Out, but I wasn't even thinking about that. So now all pretty much all chances I have of winning this battle are completely gone. I had a chance if I had gone for the Thunder Wave and gone for the Protect with my Crocodile just to give myself the biggest chance possible. Because then I would have been able to kill his Obama Snow with the uh, with the Low Sweep if I had gotten the Parahax the next turn. But uh, that's not what happened, so you know, it doesn't even matter at this point. So he's going to go for the will o -Wisp with his uh, Sableye. Now the only hope I have is to try and time stall and, uh, you know, stall for time. Obviously that's what time stalling is. <laughs> I was, uh, was going to attempt to rest after this turn. You know, just keep resting, keep resting, keep resting, keep resting. And then my plan was to, you know, since his Obama Snow is scarfed and whatnot, my plan was to, uh, you know, wait until his Obama Snow ran out of Blizzard because he only has eight. And then I was going to make that thing struggle to death. And then I was going to try and stall out his Sableye. But I ended up hitting myself in confusion from the Confuse Ray hacks. So that's a good game. Uh, I really don't know what this guy's name is. But I think he went 5-3. and three. So uh, he probably got around like 40, 50th place. I'm not really sure. But he, he was pretty good though. He knew what he was doing. So, you know, he, he was with the crew of, uh, I think, the Mighty Psyducks. They're like a crew of guys on Smogon that just go to all the VGCs and destroy everybody. And um, I think one of them won the whole thing. He went 8-0. And, oh. and uh, one of my guys actually had the opportunity to play him, but he didn't win because he didn't really know what he was doing. So, yeah, that's that. Um, real quick, I want to give a shout-out to my boy, Bad Intent. He's a really nice dude. Uh, you know, he met me up there at the VGCs. We had a little chat. He's in my vlog around 13 minutes. And then I want to give a shout-out to Nick Score. I think that's his name. He's the guy that won the whole thing. Aiden O. Very, very nice job. And then uh, Dewey, uh, D-U-I, I think that's his name. Yeah, he's a cool guy, too. I gave him my... Uh, my, some of my prizes because I didn't really have any use for them. I got a, uh, I think I got a, what is it, a Pokemon TCG binder, and then I got a TCG mat, and then I got a uh, trophy here, and then I got a, uh, what was the last, oh, yeah, they sent, they're going to send me a check for $300. Holla at your 